evening, freeholders. My name is Barbara Krause. I'm a resident of Cranford. Uh, first, uh, I'm going to speak in reference to the Union County College proposal to build a uh, sports complex uh, in Cranford. But uh, first, I want to let you know that uh, I am very much aware, because I serve on the, Union on the Cranford Tree Advisory Board, and I am very much aware, and I commend you for the offerings of trees that you have given to Cranford over the years, um, both for street tree planting and for park planting uh, in Hanson Park, for one, where I was a board member. So I am very much aware of uh, your dedication to trees and the greening of Union County. Uh, also, I would just like to share with you tonight a letter that I have written to the Board of Trustees at Union County College, and I have copies I would like to give to the clerk so that you can all uh, have one. Dear members of the Union County College Board of Trustees and the Union County Board of Freeholders, this letter is in response to the proposed plans of the Union County College to build an athletic facility with a track, a cross, and soccer field near the college back entrance off Gallows Hill Road in Cranford. <laughs> this plan has caused great concern for many valid reasons, and it is not the fiction that a few disgruntled people have concocted, as was described in the Union County College publication, Union Matters, for faculty and staff. If it's fiction, then why has a college and the Board of Trustees been served with documents opposing this plan including a three-page resolution from the Township of Cranford, a letter from the Cranford Environmental Commission, a letter from the Rollway River Watershed Association, and a resolution from the Cranford Board of Education, and numerous others. My husband, Dr. Frank Krause, and I are 50-year residents of Cranford. I have served 10 years on the Cranford Township Tree Advisory Board. And because we have been fortunate to have two of our four children the college, all American athletes, we are keenly aware of the positive benefits of college athletic involvement. But athletics is not the issue here. The problem with this particular Union County College field proposal is the location. It is nonsensical for learned, well-educated people to destroy 4.5 acres of 700 trees to accommodate this facility, and even more it is irresponsible to do so in the community of Cranford where floods have become commonplace and the most recent, May 1st, 2014. We do not need to exacerbate a problem that already causes immeasurable community anguish. And first, as I have past mentioned to the Board of Trustees, the Township of Cranford lost a total of 900 municipal trees through Hurricane Irene and Sandy. That does not include private property trees, which could easily double that number. This is why the purposeful destruction of 700 additional trees is not acceptable and environmentally irresponsible in the eyes of Cranford residents. These 700 trees are mature hardwood forest trees. They are our good neighbors, but the college is not in this situation. These leafy green canopies of 700 trees of various sizes are performing their job of cleaning the air, taking up water, preventing erosion, and cleaning the atmosphere. Every root, every leaf is working for us, providing shade and conserving energy. And these benefits do not stop at the college border. They benefit all of us. No amount of small, newly planted saplings will replace the benefits of these trees. Or on a broader level, how can Union County College ignore the work of the Mayor's Council of the Rollway River Watershed Mitigation Plan? its mission, and Cranford's leadership role with the 12 member communities. Since 2011, Irene Storm, 12 regional mayors have worked tirelessly and together with the Army Corps of Engineers to mitigate the regional flooding. For all of the reasons cited above, we petition the Board of Trustees of Union County College to seriously consider the major negative impact that this proposed project will bring to our community. I am quite aware. 
but if you can give a copy of that to our clerk. I do have copies. To read it as well. And I do, I am aware that the, and thank you, that the three holders have proposed alternatives to the college, much. and we are very thankful for that. And we hope that it is pursued by the college. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing? Michael Norman, Cranford resident. Um, I went to the Union County College meeting with the Board of Trustees and Board of Governors a couple of weeks ago. And about 100 residents showed up stating their concerns about the sports complex. Many alternative sites were talked about, such as Warren and Eagle Park, Oak Ridge Park Golf Course, and Kettlewood High School. We received no feedback from the college on anything that we had. Uh, at, the, at the last rainstorm that we had, Cranford received five and a half inches of rain. The lake in the park was flooded, and this is the same lake that they're going to drain into. Uh, during the college meeting that they had an awards ceremony for their athletes, and about 60 to 70 percent of their athletes are come from Rollway and Elizabeth. So the argument about convenience doesn't make any sense when the field at Warrenaco Park would be a perfect location for them. I have stated that the last time I was here that I'm 100 percent pro their athletes and 100 percent pro their students, but 100 percent against this field. So we continue to ask for the freeholders' help in guiding the college to find an alternative site for this field. 